Good morning, oil traders. It's uh, July 5th and it's a quarter after 8 a.m. Eastern. Uh, so we're still about uh, well over an hour away from North American market open. Uh, but as you can see, it's been an active pre-market for us. Um, so we've dropped from a high of uh, 47.30 yesterday. Um, or 47.30 something um, yesterday, and we've touched as low as 46.13 uh, this morning. Um, we've since uh, bounced back up to the mid 46s, but my feeling is we're going lower, um, and I'll elaborate on that in a second. Um, as you may recall, yesterday I bought um, short at 47.12. Um, of course, that position is looking nice and healthy today. Um, we shall see. <laughs> of course, as I say that, it, it jumps up a few cents. Um, and uh, you can check out my complete portfolio over on uh, tradingjournal.ca where you can see the trades um, detailed out, the, the daily charts, etc. etc. Um, you can also message me there if, with any questions or comments, etc. Um, so, yeah, so we, we've dropped, and my feeling is that. I'm going to wait to sell the short position from yesterday. Um, if we were closer to 46 at the open, um, I would be tempted to sell. Um, that would be, since my ETF that I use uh, is a 2X ETF, um, so that'd be a 2% drop, over 2% drop in oil, which would translate to about 4% um, profit on that position on my ETF. So at 4%, that's already pretty attractive. Um, but given that we've bounced up almost half of that, uh, I'm not in any rush to sell. Um, there's also the f kind of the more bigger picture view. And if we zoom out, for example, uh, to the one day chart here, uh, so we can see these waves over the past three months, right? And you can see that um, coming into July, we've been heading down, uh, or end of June, we've been heading down. And then you can see that we've climbed up rather rapidly um, to where we are now, or at least to where we were yesterday. And like I said in a previous episode, you know, a lot of people are expecting a for us to reproduce this wave sign, let's call it. And for us to, you know, head up to at least 49.50 before we turn the corner, and I'm actually inclined to think that that's not going to happen. And keep in mind that I do have long positions that are above where we are now. My lowest uh, long position is at 47. So, you know, I say this even though I'm going to be hurt by what I believe is going to happen. But I think that we're going to go down. I think we're going to see new lows below 42 over the next couple of weeks. Um, and even beyond that, I think what we're going to see is a range bound situation, sort of like what we saw early this year um, prior to March, where we were basically bound in the mid, in the low 50s. We're going to be bound in the lower 40s um, for. I mean, who knows how long, but I would say a few months is very likely. Um, I don't think we're going to go, I don't think we're going to see, you know, crazy lows like 30, um, although I would be extremely bullish at that point. I think a lot of you would as well. Um, but I, I don't think we're going to move up very high either um, in the second half of the year. I mean, who knows? But. Uh, that's kind of my feeling, and that's why I'm kind of preparing to play as if that's going to materialize. So basically, I'm going to be rather quick with buying longs again once we get into you know 45-ish, 44-ish area, because I think we're just going to bounce around this area. So I'm just going to profit from these up and down movements as we as we kind of fluctuate in that range. Um, but if we are, if I'm wrong, and we are to move up um, to 48 plus, then the bears do need to get satisfied with some sort of kind of retreat, pullback, um, and that's, you know, that could be what we're seeing here. It, it could be a pullback that, uh, you know, it's just taking a breath before we keep pushing higher. That's also possible. And if that's the case, 
you know, so be it. I mean, I've got long positions, like I said, so those long positions will become profitable and I'll exit those um, depending on where we get to. Uh, but my feeling is we're heading down and this is us turning the corner. Um, you know, I either, I mean, it's always 50-50 and I don't know whether it's going to be a, a, a even more rapid drop than we've seen so far this morning to kind of lower 40s, uh, 45s, or whether we're just going to struggle here for a couple of days before um, news on Thursday, tomorrow, and then drop. Uh, but yeah, as far as my feeling on new Wednesday, regardless of what the news is, I say we're going down. So I'm going to play my positions based on that, and if we are above 47 coming into Thursday, then I'm going to exit those long um, at least one of my long positions um, for a small profit or even break even, um, betting on the fact that we're going to go down. So that's that's my play. That's my thinking. I'd love to hear what you guys are thinking and what you're uh, what you're executing as trades. Uh, so hit me up down below on YouTube or over on TradingJournal.ca. Uh, subscribe to stay tuned. Give us a thumbs up, and I'll check back with you guys at the end of trading. Good luck. Cheers.